With me I have Professor Shlomo Sand, author of a book that's making waves here in Israel, The Invention of the Jewish People. Professor, thank you very much for joining us here on RT. If we go to the heart of your book, what is the difference between a people, a race, and a religion? I will start from the end, because, you know, before people existed in the world as single religious uh, communities, uh, were the most important uh, union of people in the world. Uh, religion is a community of people that believe in the same God. Race is something that was dominate the 19th century thought about uh, human beings. And I think that uh, today, after the Second World War, uh, the word race become illegitimate at all. You know, we don't believe that race exists because people are so mixed between them that you cannot speak really of race, only about a yellow race, a black race, and a white race. About people, it's legitimate. We are using it all the time. And what is important, when we say French people, for example, Italian people, we are thinking not about a scientific concept of a group, a human group. We are thinking about a human group that have in common a language, have in common a culture, a secular culture, and have in common a, a lot of practice, but secular practice. Okay? Before the modern times, people are living in villages that between a valley and the other valley, they, it was a different dialect of the language. Imagine a world that the peasant spoke maybe 300 words with all their life. I don't know how many words they spoke with their wife. But speaking about it as a people, it's something not really scientific. Can you say there's such a thing as a Jewish people? I cannot say a Jewish people. Why cannot say a Jewish people? Because uh, the common things between a Jewish 500 years ago, beco uh, between a Jew in Marrakesh, a Jew in London, and a Jew in, uh, in, in Rome, was only religious practice and not secular practice. They didn't speak the same language, they didn't eat the same food, they didn't hear the same music. Why to call it a people, I ask? Can we not go back further and say that the Jewish people started in biblical times? I advise everybody to open the Bible and to see all the uses of the word people in the Bible. People in the Bible is not at all the same thing that I nominate people today. Not at all. The word people in the Bible, and I, in the beginning of my book I explain it very clearly, can be a village, can, can be a, the poor people in the country, can be an army, can be also a religious community. So if the Jews are not a people, what are they? In the past, it was one of the religious community, the most important religious community that started to spread monotheism. Without Judaism as a religion, there cannot be not Christianism and not Islam. The Jews continue to exist as a kind of sect in the Christian world and after it in the Islamic world. But most of them has not the same origin. Most of them massively are converted to Judaism from the 200 before Jesus Christ till the 18th century, 19th century. Saying that there is not a Jewish people in the world, it doesn't mean that I deny the affinity between Jew, the solidarity between Jew. You have to understand, after Hitler, somebody that denies solidarity between Jews is an idiot or a criminal. Hitler had no problem defining a Jew. He had a problem. Hitler had a very big problem. You know, he based himself to define the Jewish people as a race, as a biological phenomenon. But you know the criteria, the parameter, to define who is a Jew was bureaucratic uh, papyrus, I mean papers. He cannot find biologically who is a Jew and who is not a Jew. He had a real problem to define what is a Jew. That he killed a six million Jews. By what? By what? This is one of the paradox of the Nazism, the stupidity of the Nazism. Why? Because they defined racically a Jew, but they cannot prove who is Jew by race. You understand what the problem? They look for papers, birth uh, act, birth act of your grandmother, 
But it's a birhat, it's a bureaucratic stamp. You understand me? He cannot define who is a Jew. He cannot look forward, take a Jew, and decide that he is Jew because of biological terms. They try to measure the, uh, the heads, you, you know, to look forward with the, with the noise and all this. They couldn't arrive to define who is a Jew. So who were the six million that he killed? First of all, it's because the Polish, you know, they put away the Jewish, the Yiddish people outside from them, you understand? But he could find who is a Jew by uh, culturally, by language, not by physical, biological way of, of looking. Did Hitler and anti-Semitism make the Jews into a people? No, because, you know, first of all, he pushed, he crushed out from Europe, us. The Hitler contributed a lot to solidarity between Jews, affinity between Jews. But you know, between homosexual community, it exists today a lot of solidarity, a lot of affinity, there are groups, also political groups, but they are not a people. Is there a Jewish people today? I don't believe. There is an Israeli people, and there is a, a Jewish solidarity. But there is not a secular Jewish culture that can unify me in a rabbi in Brooklyn. Can I speak with a Jew that is living today in Hungary? We don't have any common language. We don't like the same food. We don't have the same theater. We don't have the same cinema. And I th I'm thinking about uh, somebody is living in Moscow, a Jew that is living in Moscow. He's not speaking Hebrew like me. He don't understand the Israeli cinema like me. He's not living with me. If there is no Jewish people, what does this mean for Zionism? Oh, look on the, on the internet how they react to my people. Because you see, Zionism, the raison d'etre of Zionism, that is a Jewish people. If not, what is the legitimation of this colonization that we did here? When you use the word people, you believe that this people has a territory, is the owner of a territory. This is the reason that we are using the word Jewish people. Can you say there's such a thing as an Israeli people? I can say that today there is an Israeli people in even an Israeli nation. Why people? We have a common language, we have a cinema, we have a theater, we have food. We steal it, we stole it from the Palestinians, but we have a national food like the hummus. Now, with all this, when I, I'm a real denier of the Jewish people, I'm not a denier of the Israeli people. But it's very important to understand. I think the Israeli people that live today has a right to live here. I don't think that this territory this land belonged to a rabbi in Brooklyn that wanted to, to become. If the Jewish people do not have a right to this land, why does the Israeli have a right to live here? The whites in the United States, the Anglo-Saxon Protestant has today a right to stay in the United States because, you know, history is built by tragedies. Building the American nation was on the cost of the Indians. Everybody knows in the United States. It's too late to deny the rights of, of the white people to live in North America. It's too late and dangerous to deny the right of Israelis to live here. Are the Palestinians a people? Yeah. Zionists built two peoples here. Not only one. The Israeli people and the Palestinian people. Without Zionism, it could be that the Palestinians, the people that we call Palestinians today, were a part of the Syria. Today there is a Palestinian uh, people, but it wasn't, even in 48, I'm not sure, yet the Palestinian people existed. But our population, yes, in the Israeli state was built on the count of this Arab population. Do the Palestinian people have as much right to this land as the Israelis? Much more, much more. I'm sorry to tell them that they lost the right to leave, to return, but they have rights that we have to pay for this. How do you see the future of the Jewish state? Imagine that Great Britain will declare tomorrow that it belongs to the English people. For how long Scot people, Welsh people, will declare independent from England? Britain belongs to everybody that is living in Britain. The same thing with Israel. I want that Israel will declare that it belongs to all the citizens, Israeli citizens, Jewish, Arabs, you have to understand.
And the world has to understand, a quarter of this population that has Israeli citizens are not considered a Jew. It's like you, you decided that the Latinos and the black will not be, the uh, United States will not belong to them. It's not so clear, I don't know. What is the chutzpah? If you want, it's unbelievable for me. It's so stupid that sometimes I don't believe that it's real. Bibi Netanyahu asked the world, the Arab world, to recognize Israel as a Jewish state. The state has to belong to all the citizens. If not, in a very, very close future, the Israeli Palestinians or the Israeli Arabs or the Palestinian Israelis will, will decide to not accept the game of the rules, uh, the rules of the game. Professor Shlomo Sand, thank you very much for joining us here on RT. Thank you.